Hey, what's up everybody? Happy Friday, per usual. I'm gonna get in those cheeks today with some Boreo's Vengeance. I have streamed this a few times so far. Uh, this deck is really, really fun. I've been having a great time with it. Uh, the bad part is, is that there's a lot of graveyard strategies that are doing well right now, like Hogak. Uh, and, you know, um, just basic dredge is still fine. Deck's really fast, really good. Um, so we're going to see a lot of graveyard hate today during um, this league. There's going to be a, basically ley lines everywhere. So um, I wanted to figure out a way to circumvent that because this deck is still really strong. It's really powerful because of Ilharg the Razor Boar. Oink, oink. Um, so this little piggy um, is a 6-6. Six, six. So hits hard. It's got a big old booty, um, and it's going to put your creatures into play. So you're going to get around those graveyard those graveyard hate cards like Lay Land of the Void. Um, and another card that I seen in another list, which I'll bring that list up in just a second, uh, is Quicksilver Amulet. So this card is going to come out of the sideboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, Gorio's Vengeance out, and we're going to sideboard in Quicksilver Amulet. So 
what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to try to circumvent that graveyard hate, and we're just going to put these big fat fatties into play. You know, hopefully we we could take this Quicksilver, uh, we could put Mr. Piggy Pants into play, uh, we can then hopefully have an Ember Cool in hand and or a Grizzle Brand. So, let's see. Uh, also, if let's say that people aren't running ley lines, right? Let's say it's on paper, and if, as you guys know, right now ley lines are pretty uh, tough to get. I actually had to lend mine out this weekend, uh, my personal paper copies uh, for SCG Pittsburgh to some uh, to someone, and um, the they're not always going to have it. They might have rad traps, something like that, right? So main board, uh, we're running thought seas. Uh, and we're also running uh, Collective Brutality. So we may be able to get those those Rab Traps out of their hand and keep going with our uh, Graveyard plan. So we'll see what happens. I like the new tweaks. Uh, last time I played this was probably three weeks ago, I think. Maybe, maybe more, maybe a month ago. And I did cut the Generator Servants. Mm -hmm. But I think I was wrong. So I'm putting, I put two generator servants back in, uh, and I still have the three uh, thought seizes main board. I cut a uh, cathartic reunion. This card's pretty, probably the weakest discard spell in the deck. Uh, the collective brutalities are a little more powerful. Even thought seizing yourself is really powerful uh, to get that Grizzle Brand, Emrakul, or Ilharg into uh, into the graveyard. So the, the new sideboard cards that we moved around, I added an extra Blood Moon. I added uh, Shenanigans, which this card's great. Uh, we can Faithless Looting, pitch this card into the graveyard. If there's a bridge from below, or excuse me, a, an ensnaring bridge, uh, we can go ahead and dredge that card back. Um, you know, multiple times if we need to, we can cast it and dredge it back. So this card just has, uh, it has some pretty good synergy with the deck. I may go up to a second copy. I had a second copy in there, but I put a fourth ley line in here. And I'm trying the three of uh, Quicksilver Amulets along with the one of Boseju because blue-white is still pretty popular right now. And we're going to need to um, have that Boseju in there uh, to hopefully we can get around a Field of Ruin. But we want to uh, use the Boseju to uh, cast through the Breach and uh, get that Emrakul in there or that Grizzle Brand. So, um, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to get into it, but get into the first uh, league match here. Uh, first things first, uh, I want to let you guys know uh, that we are sponsored by Mom's Basement Games. We have a TCG player, and it's momsbasementgames.tcgplayerpro.com. You guys can go there for singles that you need. Um, you can also find all the links to our uh, videos here uh, on YouTube, along with our Twitter, and our Facebook group. Today, we also, uh, we had a new follower on Twitch. I just set this up. This is pretty cool. Um, so whenever you guys follow us on uh, Twitch here, uh, it'll send out a message saying, hey, thanks, uh, you're our follower uh, on, on Twitch. We appreciate you. And so I just try to make sure that everybody sees that. Uh, also, if you're, in the, if you're in future and you're watching this on YouTube now, Check the description below. You can find our TCG Player Pro link there. Uh, also, you can find our links to our group, uh, which we uh, we do giveaways and whatnot. Uh, so you guys want to keep up with that. Our giveaway this month is a Sliver Queen. So hopefully by the time we give it away, it's still 100 bucks. It was like 150 bucks, uh, but I'll show you guys on the starting soon screen here. Uh, the monthly giveaway is going to happen on July 1st. And that's actually going to happen during our live, during our podcast, uh, at 5.30 on July 1st. Uh, so you guys can check that out. That's called Magic in the Making. And we upload that to SoundCloud every um, every Monday after, uh, after we're done making it. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, also, um, I guess I can, I can do this before we get into it. I'll show you guys the deck that uh, Gore, this Boreo's Vengeance, uh, where it came from. Uh, it was by Dominic Harvey. He took 15th place at the SCG uh, about a month ago. And I, I really I tweaked his sideboard. I put the Thought Seasons in the main. Uh, but this is kind of what the list looked like uh, to start with. And I know, I'm sure he's very well aware that he had played this deck before Hogak. So I'm sure now he's very well aware that this deck is going to see a lot of graveyard hate. So 
the um, Gorio's Vengeance is going to be uh, pretty much out of commission. So that's why, again, I went and uh, looked up some other lists and I found um, just a regular Gorio's Vengeance list. And that's where I got the idea for Quicksilver Amulet. I had forgot about that sideboard tech where you could bring this card in and then you could get around those graveyard hate strategies by just, you don't care. You're just going to put these fatties into play. And, um, you know, that artifact enchantment hate, um, you know, it usually can, can hit the Quicksilver Amulet. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes today. All right. Let's get that first match in. Yeah, and the way that you guys win the uh, win the giveaway is uh, all you got to do is follow us on Twitch, um, and you'll get an entry into win. If you are subscribed to us on Twitch, you'll get a second entry, and if you're part of our Patreon, you get a third entry. So we won the die roll. I like this hand. It's got mana. It's got ramp. Cheers. Happy Friday. Cheers, cheers. If you're in the future, happy whatever day it is. Kind of a bummer. Hopefully we draw a hopefully we draw another creature. Alright, so I don't think we really need to speed through here. I think they're going to have to play something. So I think what we can do here is just try to play this Pentide Prism. Just go kind of slow. I'm fine with that. Um, when I see Basic Island, I think Spell Pierce. And I just don't, I don't want to get blown out by a Spell Pierce right now. And uh, there's, like I said, there is no need. We can, we can have that Spell Pierce back up. Oh, okay. So we're... Okay. I don't know what this is. P sacrifice put two charge counters on target artifact. Oh, wow. Cool. Add one mana of that color. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. So what are you casting now? Chalice on two? On one? I give a shit about that. I'm cool with Chalice on one. Man, this is pretty neat. Creature, fuck. Well, Mr. Pig Pants here is gonna go we have a through the breach too so god i wish we had a creature here um so faithful saluting it's not gonna work for us because we can't cast it through the chalice so that's a bummer so i think what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna wait i don't think there's any any reason to rush i think we got some time here Now, if we did whack him for six, right? Let's say we Gorio's Vengeance and, and we whacked him for six. Um, 
he is going to then, um, he's going to get exiled. Um, so whenever he goes to exile, he's going to be put into third from the top. So he, you know, we could draw him again and we could keep hitting for six, but, uh, you know, that's like multiple turns away. So this is very cool. This is super cool. Mm, we better, we better hurry up and draw a fucking creature here. We about to get Karned out of the game. Yeah, buddy. Go get that, go get that lattice. Nice. Hey, Icy. You like my optimism? Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, Tormod's Crypt on the stack. Oh, bummer. Going to get Tormod's Crypt. Hmm. That's a tough one. Ah, oh, so if we Gorios, it's not going to do anything because we're not at end step, so we're going to lose our little piggy pie here. Uh, so either way, we're going to... It's still going to get exiled. It's still going to go third from the top. So I think we're not... We're, we're just okay with this. Now... Yeah, because we're just not going to waste a spell. Okay. Cool. Fine with that. Okay, so he let us get to our end step. Um, so, I guess it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that pig go. Creature. Emrakul, off the top. So Icy, what's going on? I thought you had the time in the, all the time in the world, yeah. Fuck. I mean, we had some time, right? Uh, we're just not drawing anything, though. Uh, and we got the Chalice locked us out of the fa the Faithless Looting, so we don't have our Cathartic, so we're not drawing any more cards to discard here, so we did have time. I guess we could throw the Breach of Simeon Spirit Guide, right? <laughs> you go get it. Hello, Lattice. Yeah, I'll scoop to that. So we're going to bring our little shenanigan boy in. Uh, let's see. We're, there's some graveyard hate. Not sure if, we, if I'm really feeling the Quicksilver amulets here. I feel like we can, we can kind of race them. They are going to have the graveyard hate. They may have four of those in the sideboard. So it actually might be good to, to split this up. Well, I think we just bring... Actually, I think... I think we're just bringing the Quicksilvers in. Um... Blood Moon. Is Blood Moon good here? <laughs> Lattice card combo needs to get broken up? I don't know, Icy Man. I... I think that combo is fine. I don't think it's great. I think it's... I think it's playable, though, because it takes time. And they're... They're making Modern faster, so... Here. I feel like Blood Moon's pretty good here. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna bring in four cards. We gotta get rid of four cards. 
And we want to go fast. We want to combo as fast as we can. Thoughtseize is pretty good in this matchup. I think Collective Brutality is subpar in this matchup. They're going to be chalicing on one, but eh. I think we still want our Faithless Lootings and our Thought Seizes in the main. I think those are going to be pretty powerful. Um, I think we can cut a Gorio's Vengeance if we're bringing in three Quicksilver Amulets. Um, and let's see. What else are we going to cut here? I think we could cut double Gorio's Vengeance, to be honest. I like that idea. Alright. This looks good. I'm not sure Blood Moon needs to come in here. I don't think it does. I don't think it's going to shut them down. Because they look like they were playing blue and red. So, turning their, turning their blue-red source into a red source is not insane. Alright, let's be on the play. I like this hand. I don't love it, but I like it. I'd like to see a Pentide Prism in this hand, but... We're fine with that. We don't give a shit. Got to draw some land here, right? Cathartic Reunion's dead, but that's okay. That's what we got to do. Go down a Faithless Looting. Yeah, I see. I, you're right. I could have probably, I probably could have cut one Faithless Looting. I was thinking about that too, but eh. I may need to put four. Um, of those uh, Quicksilver Amulets in the sideboard total. I think that card is just pretty fucking nuts. So we got three, but then we're down to two. Man, I feel like I'm playing Legacy right now. So could we discard anything here? Could we Cathartic Reunion discard like a spirit guide and a through the breach to draw more lands. But then we have to rely on the Quicksilver Amulet. So I think we're going to wait a turn. I think we need another card to pitch. I like that. Hopefully they, they kept a one lander. Sorceress, Spyglass, oh, woof. God damn it, that takes our fucking Quicksilver out. Man, what a dagger. Holy shit. All right, round one. Urza. Blue Urza. Man, Leyline into Sorceress Spyglass? How'd they know? How did they fucking know? I guess I should have fetched in response to this, shouldn't I have? Yeah, I had it on... I sixed it. I had it on six, and I was like, oh, fuck, Pithing Needle effect. Fuck. Why didn't I... Why didn't I fucking fetch in response? That's my fault. I don't want a Simeon Spirit Guide here with the cathartic. 
We just need to draw some fucking lands, man. Alright, so here we go. So do we want to rely on the through the breach? Don't think we do. I think we need to discard, and I think we need to draw with Cathartic Reunion. So we're gonna discard, um, I think we're gonna discard Grizzlebrand. And Quicksilver Amulet. I think we need the Simeon Spirit Guide. Because they could draw, they could play another Sorcerer's Spyglass. And we fucking draw a Bloodstained Mire. Holy shit, tits. Mm mm, mm mm, mm. Wow. <sighs> yeah. That's rough. That is rough when you don't hit six, everybody. Do not six on somebody else's turn. Make sure you fetch. Chalice on two. Yeah. Chalice on two is good. Man, this is a tight, tight game with Sorcerer Spyglass. Holy shit, that card's powerful. And if I wouldn't have fucking, if I wouldn't have punted on the Bloodstained Mire, we'd be in there with that Emrakul right now, getting in them cheeks. Oh, Lord, 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 Urza. We in trouble now. We are in trouble now, y'all. I see, I saw you talking shit over here. What'd you say? You blew Urza and you had to pay for it. Uh, cast Cathartic, pitching Elhard, bring Grizzle, Grizzle Daddy back. I can't, man. I can't. That Ley Line's killing me. Inventor's Fair enters the Exiled Zone. You got it. <laughs> Holy shit, we're just gonna keep playing fucking drawing bloodstained Myers. Oh wow. Rough times in the Shire, y'all. Shuffle your library, then exile the top card. Got it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, tap an artifact for a blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. They got enough mana. 
That's it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You got it. You got it. I at least want to see what my next draw is. I have to. I got it. I got to see what my next draw is. I got to see if it's not a bloodstained mire. Mm. Punt count one, baby. It was a faithless looting. So we would have had to at least dig. So let's see what we would have dug into. Hey, there it is. We're just one turn behind. Oof. You're right, I see. We didn't have all the time in the world, right? All right. Let's get after it. Let's go to the next one. Concede. Got two owed by Ur Mono Blue Urza. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna write that one in the books. That's a sad one. That is a sad hand job right there. Oh, my Guinness tastes like salt, you guys. <laughs> it's very salty. Uh, holy shit. Well, I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing great. I'm streaming. This is my life. I hope your life is good, too. Um, I got a wedding to go to, so I'm not going to be able to go play Magic tonight. What are you guys up to? You guys playing some Magicals? I see you're going to you're gonna go uh, play some Elves tonight? Hey, we lost the die roll and we start with a Gemstone? With a Emmercool and the Nuts? I'll take the Nuts. Are you guys okay with the Nuts? I'm okay with the Nuts. Alright, so we exile the Gem... We put the Gemstone in, exiling Faithless Looting. Uh, we then play our land next turn. Uh, thought Seizing Ourself. Pitching Spirit Guide... Thought Seizing Emmercool. Pitching Spirit Guide. Returning Gorios Vengeance? Or Emmercool Gorios? I think we keep this. That's a turn one Emrock cool, y'all. Tommy Cakes ain't gonna like that. Yep, you know it. Good, good, Icy. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, alright. Well, we can, uh, a little less salt in my Guinness now. Good old Tommy Cakes taking that 1515 to the face. Ooh, Teleria West tapped. Alright. So we're playing against uh prime, good old Primetime. Thought sees target me. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Emma Cool Aeon's Anus of Torns. See how this goes. I think we can get there. Put him to five. Let's see. Let's see.
Generator Servant. I'm gonna get in there for two, baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gonna kill somebody with the Generator Servant. We just gotta top deck the, uh... Um... Another Simeon Spirit Guide so we can hit Bingo for show. And that's basically Bingo right there. I don't know. I don't think I don't think Tommy Cakes can beat a generator servant. Well, we'll see though. Is there an Azusa? Ah, it's a Coalition Relic. Two? What? But, let's see, remove a charge counter. Yeah, 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 six, I don't care what you're doing. Sunburst, this enters the battlefield with a charge counter for each color of mana spent to cast it. I thought I could put multiple colors on there. Why not? Why not? No. E E Aww, boo. I'm gonna kill my generator servant, that's not fair. You got it. Got two for one. Get wrecked. Black cleave cliffs. Aw, bummer. Man, where's my mainboard lightning bolts? I just needed to get two more damage in with Generator Servant, and then we could have uh, we could have hit him with Collective Brutality <laughs> for the next two. That would have been fucking hot. Azusa lost but seeking Ghost Quarter. Uh oh. Oh no. They're at three. We gotta kill him. You guys. God damn fucking card. All right. All right, Icy, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm feeling Karn's pretty, Karn's pretty rough. What are you going to get? You went and got a Teleria? I thought it was an artifact. Oh, you upticked. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Woof, you guys. Woof, I thought turn one Emrakul was pretty good. I guess I was wrong. You know, I guess we could have just got rid of that other Gorio's Vengeance. So this is the part about um, learning is we could have probably got rid of this Gorio's Vengeance instead of exiling the uh, Faithless Looting. Because we could have Faithless Looting twice already. Got rid of some lands. But then if we're looting, then we don't have the uh, the Gorio's Vengeance to, uh, to get our creature out of the graveyard. So... Yeah, so there we go. We're losing to Mycosynth Lattice again. Wow. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. So what do you guys think? I'm pretty sure there's going to be some graveyard hate strategies going on here. So, But we definitely want to bring the shenanigans in. Oh, man, I should have played more shenanigans today. I should have played fucking three of these things. Michael Synth Lattice is just the absolute nuts. I like Lightning Axe, sort of. Of course the Blood Moons are coming in. We could think about bringing in the Bosijus just so they can't counter our Through the Breach. Uh, or our Gorio's Vengeance, because they do play Pact Indigation most of the time, so... I think that's probably a good one to bring in, but they do play Ghost Quarter, so this could slow us down. Um, but it, I think it's an edge I'm willing to slow down for. And if we get Ghost Quartered, hey, we get Ghost Quartered, right? 
So there should be some graveyard hate strategies coming in. So what do you guys think? Do you think that we are gonna take the Gorios out here and bring in the Quicksilvers? Or do you think we should just, just rock the graveyard strategy? Um, I know Karn is gonna go get, you know, some, uh, oh, you just need to run a L lead deck. Uh, just rock the graveyard, yeah. Yeah, I think that I think that's probably, I think that's pretty solid. Uh, we can always bring in a fifth, um, a fifth through the breach, um, you know, effect. So I like, I like cutting the brutalities here. Uh, I even think I like, to be honest, I like cutting the thought seizes. I think we just want to race them because I think they're fast, but I think we could be possibly we could be faster. And we've got five cards here, so I don't really see anything else that we really want to take out. Um, again, I think we just want to race these motherfuckers. So let's get after it. <laughs> you can actually keep this hand. It's so insane that in, in Magic, like, when you have Faithless Looting, you can keep zero land hands. I'm not keeping it, but you could. I think this is a fine hand. I'm okay with this. It's not the worst. I like Blood Moon. Let's see what's on top. Emmercool, get out of here. Get out of here, Emmercool. Gain that life. You got it. You're at 22. Let's go get that black source. So we're going to Windmill Slam this Blood Moon. Hopefully it takes them out of the game. Um, but it's possible that they could, grow, they could draw one of their green sources and, and get through this. Not, It's not very probable, but it's possible. And I think we just, just run with our strategies. So we drew it through the Breach, which is probably the best card that we could have drawn there. Um, so I like it. I think Generator Servant's going to do some work. Um... which is cool. Uh, it should lock them out for the most part. Yeah, I think you're right, Icy. I think it, sh I think it will lock them out for the most part. Hey, there's that backup Quicksilver Amulet 1-of that we brought in, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, I, we're just going to keep attacking here. Add two colorless mana. Wow. We could have just... We could have just threw the breached. I thought this was just to, to play creatures with. But it's if you play it with a creature. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. All right, this card is so much better than I thought. All right. Wow. Wow, that's cool as shit. Wow, that is so crazy. Add two colorless mana. Coalition Relic, there's their, there's their mana source to get rid of Blood Moon.
Wow, okay. That's a pretty good fucking top deck, y'all. So Mr. Pig Pants is gonna get uh is he's gonna get haste. That's a really good looking board state right there. I like that. Hey, another Emrakul. Man, God, I really like this deck. This deck is really good. All right, so I see. What do you think about what do you think about running it back like this? I'm a fan of running it back like this. I'm a big fan of running it back like this. Yeah, run it back. I think you're right. I don't really see anything else that we need to cut here. I like having access to the... Uh, I, I really think we need to add more shenanigans into the sideboard. That card seems like it's a, it's a definite two of, and I only ran one this week. Alright, Amulet Titan haven't seen an amulet yet, so what do you guys think's gonna happen here? Molten Rain? What you don't think Blood Moon's just significantly better? Cause like if they hit a like think about if they go am, uh, amulet or they go Azusa. Then you know you're you just blowing up one land, I think you'd rather just make their lands not be able to function. You don't want to just set them back one land because they, they can catch up. Huh, this is a weird one. We're on the draw. We only have one land, so we can't really do anything with Pentide Prism. We don't have a Sacrifice Outlet. So I think if like this Generator service was, Servant was a Faithless Looting, I think we could keep this, but I don't think we can keep this. So I think we have to Mulligan. I like this hand. We may see a turn two am or turn one amulet, so we may be able to turn two this thing. Let's see what's on top here. Corio's Vengeance. I like this. I think this is good. I think we're gonna keep it on top. This is the kind of hand that we want. We, like I said, we want to be able to really positively hit off of this faithless looting. Off this faithless looting. All right, so we're gonna be able to pitch the shenanigans, which is a positive thing for us. And we're gonna be able to pitch maybe something else, hopefully a creature. Fuck. Well, doesn't that suck? I mean, we still got the faith of saluting in the yard, so that's good. Moon is good, but adding Molten Rain, even if it's just in the sideboard, would help more. All right. Not going to say you're wrong. Definitely not going to say you're wrong. I can always test it, see what's better. Oh, it's going to prompt me to dredge each turn, huh? Cool. I like that. Another Gorio's Vengeance. Alright, so let's go get our mountain. 
Do we go get a swamp? What's more important? I think we get a swamp. Because we can have the, the mana. Yeah, swamp's always what we want to go get. All right, Generator Servant, you're going to do some work here, buddy. You're going to help us go off, hopefully, next turn. Or at least hit him with an Embercool. Hopefully, we just don't peter out like we did last time. That would fucking suck. Black Cleave Cliff. All right, get that get that red source. All right, so we can flashback Faithless Looting now. We then could pitch Emmercool in there and destroy their board, and but put them to five. Or the, is the better play just to cast the Pentide Prism here? I think nuke their board is probably better. So we're going to discard old Emraku, and I think we're going to discard one of the Goryeo's Vengeance. I think nuking their board there is just pretty is just pretty good. Hey, Chuck the third, I didn't even see you there. You're same color as the old monster cat. I apologize. Um what's going on, Chuck? Uh is it as spicy as it looks? Chuck, it is it is the spiciest. It's beautiful. This deck's really not spicy, man. This deck is just really, really solid. Um I don't, I don't know why this deck is not seeing more play because it has the ability to go off on you. Like we last game or last round, we turn one an Emrakul. Um, this game, um, we like turn three to an Emrakul with Gorio's Vengeance. I know there's a lot of graveyard hate. Um, you know, as you see there, there's a Bajuka Bog like just main board. I'm sure there's probably a couple in that deck, um, but. I, this deck is so resilient because it's got Through the Breach. Like right now, I just got a top deck of Through the Breach or Mr. Piggy Pants, Ilharg. You know? And I just nuked their board. Like, the, the deck just has a lot of reach. And I can't say enough for the deck. I just built it. I haven't finished building it on paper, but um, I'm going to. And I think I think um, Hogak's going to get a ban. And once Hogak gets a ban, I think the Dredge Hate's, or the, uh, the hate's going to go down. There's still going to be Dredge Hate. Uh, but the sideboard hate's gonna go down, and I think uh, this deck will this deck will um, do just fine. And plus, we added the Quicksilver amulets to the sideboard. Look at these things, three of them in the sideboard, gorgeous. There's that amulet. Look at them coming right back, three permanents. 
That's tough. One amulet is just so powerful for this deck, and our shena our our one of shenanigans got exiled. So, Ugh. that's tough. That is tough. They can rebuild fast from uh, from a board wipe. All right, we just need a sack outlet now, or we just need to keep drawing lands. We can hard cast this fucking Grizzlebrand. Oh yeah, Chuck. This is this is wild, man. It's it's a wild deck. That's why I love, absolutely love. Um, I love modern because, like this, we could literally lose here, because we just we might not draw anything. We might we could have nuked their board, and now they play one amulet, and they just come back and kill us. Pretty crazy shit. That's four mana, five mana? God, dude, Karn in this deck. Fucking fuck Karn, man. Woof. This card is hardcore. It just gets you out of games. Going to get that Tormod's Crypt. Oh, shit. We ran it back. We didn't bring the amulets. Or we have one amulet in, excuse me. All right, let's cast this Faithless Looting. Let's get after it. Hell yeah, that's what I like to see. Turn of events, Chuck. There's a turn of events. It's like a back and forth slugfest. So we need them to not have access to six mana to go and get... Yeah, I think we're just dead here. Yeah, we're just dead here. Because all they need to do is go get Lattice because they have enough mana They'll have enough mana because they had four mana to float earlier with Amulet. If they put another land into play, then they'll have six mana to cast um, to cast uh, Mycosynth Lattice. So we're dead. <laughs> the combos, man. The fucking combos are just absolutely unreal. I mean, you've got to be fast. You've got to be faster than your opponent. And we whiffed a turn. So, if we didn't whiff a turn, we'd have been fine. What are they doing? Why are they going to get... Oh, they're just fucking around. Just being silly. I don't know why... I mean, I'm pretty, pretty positive they could have just killed us there. not too sure why they went and got Azusa unless they didn't have another land in hand if they didn't have another land in hand then that's pretty crazy yeah they they could only get five uh they could only get five mana um uh, but they should have had another land in their hand because they had seven fucking cards but i don't know maybe they just didn't That's six mana. Go and get that lattice, baby, and blow me out. I'll take my lickens. I'll take my lattice lickens two rounds in a row. Fucking lost to mono blue Urza earlier. Are you going to get a prime time? You're not going to. Are you dancing on me? 
Listen, you don't need to dance on my dead corpse. That's not, that's rude. That's not nice. That's just absolutely fucking rude. Dancing on my dead corpse. Mm. Just crip walking on me right now. Well, I hope you guys that are watching right now, I hope you guys are doing good today. I'm doing good. Uh, cheers to you guys. Thanks for stopping by and, and watching. Um, if you guys aren't um, followers to the channel, uh, please hit that follow button right now. And uh, I'll do a little dance for you, of course, as always. But we're doing a uh, we're doing a giveaway on July 1st. We're uh, giving away a Sliver Queen, so um, check that out. We started a new podcast, you know. Uh, on Mondays at 5:30, we're on SoundCloud, so you guys could walk, come by, and uh, uh, see that. We you could listen to that. Uh, we're usually done with it about 7:30. We upload it, so if you guys are on SoundCloud, check us out. It's me and uh, me and Richie Thompson. You got it, Baba. I don't know what's going on here, but it seems pretty provocative. I like it. I like my corpse getting uh, danced on here. What did you go get? You got that, you got that, and you got that. What are you getting? You have to be getting mycosynth lattice, right? It would just be uncivilized if you didn't. Thank you, Icy. I'm glad you're subscribed, man. I appreciate it. Crucible? What the fuck? Did you not have a lattice? Did we just win this? Oh, you guys? Did we just win this? No way. Don't tell me we just won this. <laughs> I forgot about his I forgot about his static ability. I can't use his mana. All right, that's fucking great. I okay, I'm sitting here going, "Oh. So we sh god. All right, so we're still going to faithless loot. We're going to start with faithless looting. I don't think we can get out of this, though. I think we're just fucking dead. There's the two land, but we're still dead. Um, we get rid of Emrakul and a land, but we can't. We get rid of... Because Grizzlebrand flies. They're going to gain some life if they... Huh. They should be able to just fucking kill us next turn, right? Oh, what lands do they have in the graveyard? Vesuva and Growth Chamber? They're gonna have so many mana. They should be just be able to kill us next turn with Double Strike. So, if we were able to Gorios, I think we fucked up here. Because we could Gorios, Grizzlebrand, and then response, we could Gorios again to the Tormod's Crypt, and we could get the Grizzlebrand out um, before the Tormod's activation. So the through the breach is just is just dog shit here. The only thing that would have saved us was like amulet. Yeah, Karn Karn too good. We dead here. We dead here, boys and girls. Yeah, Tormods. Yeah, you're right. Uh, in response, you Gorios. No. That's not gonna work. Cause they're just gonna get rid of it.
yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, we can't go off here. Because we're going to go to target it, and they're going to be like, eh, it's not happening. We would have needed double Gorios, Mr. Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, we super fucking dead. We tried, though. Um, let's try, right? You got it. They cracked it. We fucking dead. Yeah, we just needed double Gorios there. That was it. All right, let's scoop them up. Let's go to the next one. Thanks, Tommy Cakes. All right, so we owe two. Tormod's Crypt and goddamn mother fucking Karn. Woo! Karn is a bitch, man. Uh, I mean, we did go, we did get a game there, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, but yeah, man, Karn is just, what do you guys, do you guys actually think, I know Icy was saying earlier that Karn needs to get, he needs to get banned, but holy shit. Do you really, not Karn needs to get banned, but just Michael Sinflat, it's just to take that out of the equation. Do you guys really feel that way? Because I feel like, I know the card's strong, but I don't know. All right, we won the die roll, that's good. So we won the die roll, and we have Gemstone Cavern in our hand with the Looting Spirit Guide. So we really need to draw well here with that Looting. And I think we got a couple turns here. So I think let's keep this. This seems like a pretty solid hand. Unless they go turn one Chalice. If they go turn one Chalice, we dead as fuck, but... Sorry, guys. Let me keep up with the chat here. Oh, no. Best card in Magic. Island. <sighs> Polluted Delta. Gotta go get that Black Source. Man, we just drawing all the lands right now, y'all. Alright. Um, da -da -da. What I always hope this played around it. Also, I apologize for my horrible spelling. <laughs> That's fine. I can't spell either, Wilson. Don't worry about that. Um, glad I can finally catch a stream. Good shit, Josh. Hey, counting seconds. Thank you. I appreciate you for stopping by. I'm glad you caught a stream. God, we might be able to fucking hard cast this goddamn Grizzle Brand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. We have the mana to cast Grizzle Brand on turn five. And give it haste. Man, I'm loving Generator Servant more and more. I, I'm like wanting to go up to the third. Because I did cut one of them. So I think I, I'm definitely wrong. I should be playing three of these things. Oh, no, 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 no. Wanted a flashback Faithless looting. What am I doing? No, don't be a scrub. Don't be a scrub. I'm a scrub. You feel like, Chuck, you feel like too, Lattice is too slow to matter, huh? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 
You may be right, Chuck. The lattice combo might be too slow, but it's been a fu it's dunked on me twice so far. When I thought my opponents had no outs, they just they just put a uh, a card into play and I'm dead. All right, so they're showing blue mana, so we're gonna have to end. We're gonna have to try to wait for them to tap out and end step this thing, uh, this Grizzle Brand. So. Um, I feel like we can sculpt our graveyard a little bit more, but I don't think we really need to. Well, actually, yeah, we can. Because we have the mana to do both. Because we can get rid of this delta. We don't have to hard, try to hard cast this other grizzle brand. I mean, guess, I guess we could. Ooh, remand? I like that. What do you guys think? You think we should just... You think we should just go for it? I think I'm going for it. I think in response before them drawing a card, I think I'm going to Gorio's Vengeance. Fuck yeah. Spell Pierce, blow me out, Spell Pierce. Blow me out, but I still got the Generator Servant, so I can pay for the Spell Pierce mana. Oh, Generator Servants, gross. Yeah, put that back in my hand. I'll take a Faithless Looting back. Oh, it doesn't. It gets exiled. Ah, it was a bit flashback. All right, let's move to combat. Let's draw some Cardos. Very sexual. Man, I love this deck. <laughs> All right, so let's pitch. Let's pitch a land and a land. Let's pitch land, land. Right? Do we need five land? We might need five land. So let's not pitch the black cleave. So we might have to start hard casting some boars here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay, I gotta go to cleanup. My bad, guys. I'm over here trying to pitch cards and I'm not even in cleanup. Bye, Grizzlebrand. Oh, flake, flake, flaking. Karn is busted, though. Give me whatever I need. Laugh my ass off. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Green, blue. What are we fucking playing against? Creatures and lands. Target opponent controls. Don't untap during their next untap step. Sure. Getting in there with Generator Servant was too greedy, really? <laughs> Exhaustion? You guys, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Swamp. We got no second mana source. Uh, so we can't go get a Montania. We're gonna pass this shit. We are exhausted. We just got exhausted. So we gotta be playing against walks? Is that a fucking deck? <laughs> oh, the blind flip temporal mastery? You got it. You fucking got it. 
Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about that. So I got walked twice. Howling mine. Oh, baby. Your turn again, bud. Draw those two cards. Don't be hitting walks off the top, though. That's not fucking fair. And don't... Don't come at me and, uh... And curse... Oh, god damn it. God... Yep. This isn't looking good, you guys. This isn't looking good! Woo! Oof! 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 <laughs> All right, we sixed. Got exhausted again. We got nothing going on here, so we got a, we got eight cards. One, four, eight, nine cards. Got it. So we're gonna get rid of a brutality and a grizzlebrand. Looping exhaustions. Does this does this deck play Snapcaster Mage to to uh, snap back exhaustion? God, round three of a fucking July. What is this? June. It's not quite July yet, but July of 2019. I'm playing against walks. Don't let me untap. Or are you gonna die? You got it. Take another turn. This isn't looking good, baby boys and girls. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. At least we can have, at least we got Guinness on our side, right? <laughs> oh, God, I want to fucking scoop right now just seeing this shit and go to next game and just murder them. Oh. There's the third exhaustion. All right, so that's pretty good. Let's get a mountain. Hmm. Or we get a blood crypt? Blood crypt. Why not? Can only get a swamp with this thing. I'm trying here? I don't know what to say. Cryptic command. Wow, you gave me a turn. And you had the cryptic. Okay. Hmm. 
We still got more Vengeance. They have six cards in hand, so it's not looking good for us. I think we just scooped this game. What do you guys think? You think we just scooped this game we dead here? For those of you guys watching, what do you think? We scooped this? I'm okay with scooping it. Go to next game, do some sideboarding. We're hitting pump faked right now. Also. <laughs> Chuck says LOL. That 6-6 six, six beast coming at you. Alright, maybe we don't scoop. Did they just tap out? Are we still exhausted? There's no way we're still exhausted, are we? Oh, they... What did they have another turn from? Oh, okay. I must have missed it. I must have missed the other turn. Hmm. All right, so... God, this deck seems... They play a lot of islands. They play the green source for the... So I don't think Blood Moon's going to be really hot here. We're definitely going to want to bring in this Boseju so we could... Because like if we had the Boseju there, it would have been tapped out most likely, but... Maybe it helps. Maybe we get it down early enough to where it helps get through those counter spells. Um, I don't know if they're going to bring in too much Graveyard Hate. I guess they could. Um, they're probably worried about, again, they're probably worried about the old Hogak, so I think bringing in the Quicksilver Amulet's probably a good idea, because i just going to err against caution here. Um, so I think we could, we can effectively rely on the Quicksilvers and the Through the Breaches. Uh... I still like having Collected Brutality in here to kind of slow them down because they have a lot of instants and sorceries. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're going to be bringing in more counter spells. Uh, but I think the Thought Seizers are probably just going to be better in that spot. So I think we bring we take the Brutalities out. I think we take uh, two of the Goryeo's Vengeance out. And then we bring in the Basiju mm -hmm. and the three of Quicksilver Amulet. And then just run it straight like that. <laughs> Maybe I just F6 my turn. <laughs> I see you might be right. I might have just I might have just been like lulled to sleep by that shit because holy titties, that was fucking awful. That is awful to watch. I I'm sorry that you guys gotta watch this uh <laughs> this round versus take turns, but we can try to keep six in. You know? That's all we can do is six. Uh while we're waiting though, let you guys know. Uh if those of you that popped in just now or if you you know, you've been here for a few minutes. Uh, hit the smash the follow button. Don't just hit it. Smash that bitch. Um, we're doing a giveaway for a Sliver Queen this month. Next month, not sure what we're giving away, but we're doing um, we're doing tr um, a tribal planeswalker. No, tribal month is this month. Uh, we're doing planeswalker month or planeswalker week next month. So, pretty excited about that. Uh, this hand sucks balls. So I think we're going to be giving away something in the Planeswalker uh, area. Not sure yet. Uh, yeah, this hand looks great. We can just play Emrakul. Gorio's Vengeance, Emrakul with Faithless Looting and Thoughtseize. That seems good. I'm keeping this. You had to make it fucking awkward, didn't ya? God damn you, deck. So I think we pitched the spirit guide in the thought seas here. Yeah, because we need all those cards.
Spirit Guide and Thoughtseize. Let's fix it. Hmm. Oh, Grizzlebrand. I like you. Shit. So do we just thought seize ourselves here and just get rid of this Grizzlebrand, or do we just wait? Because we don't have a mana source. I think we could. I think that's a good idea. I'm down for that idea. Because then we're just going to be able to draw. Thought sees, target us. Hit the Grizzle Brand. I like that play. Uh, pitch. Doomy sided, what is that? Oh, pitch double sided or double C's. You could have Boreos Emrakul on two. Yeah, I saw that, but I, this the turn two Emrakul has not been working out for me. I did it round round two, well, round one and round two, and without being able to finish, it's pretty rough. Uh, so I like I like the Grizzle Brand action. Just not having any options after that Emrakul throws everything back into your deck is just feels really, really bad, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bearer. So I think we just get remanded here, right? Yeah, we just get remanded here. So we just wait. We can always end step, see if they uh, tap out to play something. We need a third land though, because I want to. I want to uh, play this faithless looting. Now we do it. So now that they're tapped out, we can then put the Grizzle Brand into play and at least sculpt our hand, you know, uh, just in case they do cryptic it. You know, at least we get to draw seven new cards. Uh, we, al we also have the Faithless Looting, um, so that hopefully we can draw we draw another Goryeo's Vengeance and we can sculpt that Emrakul into the graveyard. This deck's just got a lot of options, y'all. I really, really like it. I just got to get better at playing it, and that's, hey, that's why we're doing this right now. That's why we're streaming, so I can get better at this deck, right? So maybe if you guys see it and you like it, hey, you can get better too. Mr. Bear, I can't believe you stopped by, bub. Thanks for stopping by. I love you. Love your face. Yeah, at the beginning of the next end step. You right. So I get it next turn. how that not work? <gasps> wasn't their turn. I didn't move to combat. Oh my god. Why am I so fucking... No, how did that... I'm still tapped down. Am I fucking missing something here? Help me out here, chat. What am I missing? I end-stepped. Grizzlebrands was in play. Why did it go away? 
Am I that flaked out? I'm gonna drink more beer. I'm just gonna drink more beer. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drink more beer. What in the fuck am I missing here? How have I not had a turn? Is Moto bugging? I am tripping fucking balls right now. Okay, so they get an extra turn. Got it, got it, got it. I think we're dead. I think we can scoop this. We can scoop them up. Taking turns. Got fucking dunked on. Round three. Oof. All right. Hey, we got to be positive and go into that, that next match. We 0-3 right now, y'all. <laughs> rough, rough day today. It's all right. Yeah, acti even activating G Daddy there would have just not got me the game. Ball sacks. Um, so let's see. While we're waiting here, I can show you guys the deck uh, that I that I took this from if you guys weren't here earlier. So uh, Dominic Harvey uh, played this a couple months ago um, and he took 15th at the SDG. So uh, when I saw this deck, I, I love Mr. Pig Pants, Ilharg, the Razor Boar so much that I just wanted to play this deck because it, it's got a lot of outs against graveyard hate strategies. Um, and uh, with us, you know, taking some of those, go the Gorio's Vengeance out of the main, uh, you can play Quicksilver Amulet. So, 
I like having that option. I like having the Quicksilver amulet in the sideboard uh, because it just gives you extra reach. All right, we've won the die roll. That's, <laughs> man, that's a rough draw. Mulligan that shit. Gemstone Caverns on the draw, one lander. Hmm, head tilt. Eh, collective Brutality with no creatures in hand. This has been kind of a reoccurring theme. Like, either I don't, ha I have one side or I don't have the other. So I have like Gorio's Vengeance, uh, Collective Brutality, but I don't have any creatures in my hands. So I don't like, I don't think I like this either. I feel like we can, we can hit a better five. I really do. So I'm going to mulligan again. Holy shit. That is an awful fucking five. Going to four, y'all. Going to four. I guess you can't be greedy. <laughs> Holy shit. Are we really going to go to three? I guess we keep this because we can play Pentai Prison. We just got to, like, draw for four. Draw perfect for fucking three turns, four turns. I don't think we can go to three. Whoa. Scour. Oh, baby. This is the weirdest league I've played in in so fucking long. Round one, mono blue Urza. Round two, Amulet Titan, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Cathartic Reunion pitching that stuff, drawing three cards. So we could Cathartic Reunion pitch Pentide Prison and Grizzlebrand. I think I like that. I mean, we do just get blown out by a counterspell here, but we're pretty much dead anyways if we don't do anything. We're left with an Emrakul, and it gets countered. I'm going to shit. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, we. There's a start. There's a start, you guys. Let's get rolling here. Okay. Lightning bolt my face at the end of turn. I'll take it. Thought Scour, Lightning Bolt, what in the fuck are we playing against? I didn't think th I didn't think Thought Scour was in um, what's its face. Yeah, okay, this is this is just blue red um, Phoenix. Okay, I didn't know that they were playing Thought Scour in here. I guess Mo Sumless. Gain 10. I like that. That's pretty cool. I know it doesn't always help. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys. This is unreal. It's a long road when you're when you mull the four. Long road. Well, we'll get there, you guys. I believe in. I I believe. I'm a believer. Uh, 
All right, there's one counter. Whenever you cast, so I haven't played against this card on uh, on, nor, on paper, nor have I played against it online. So um, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent gains ten life. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a counter on it, um, and then put a verse counter on it on Arya, and it deals damage equal to the number of verse counters to target player or planeswalker. Cool, fool. Can we loot into some land here? Wow. This is really hard times in the Shire, you guys. <laughs> we can play Generator Server next turn, you guys! Oh my god! It's gonna be so sick! Yeah! So I'm gonna take five from that? This card's fucking rad as shit, man. I really like this card. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery? Oh, beautiful. This card's so good. How do you beat that card? You just like have no clock against this Aria of Flame. The clock is just nuts. Finale! Double lightning bolt! <laughs> oh baby! We dead here? We should be dead here, right? Yeah, uh, so three, five, ten, yeah. Wow. That shit is cool as fuck. Hell yeah. Cool. All right, I just had to tell Melon that was cool as shit. All right, so blue, red, um, blue, red phoenix. So, round four, you are Phoenix. They didn't even need Phoenix. I said, ah, it's cool. I'll just, you're going to stumble? I'll just kill you with, uh, I'll just kill you with this new, uh, super amazing enchantment. Do we really need to worry about their, uh, Phoenixes, or do we just kill them beforehand? We have nothing to deal with enchantments either. I think we just gotta race these guys. Uh, yeah, just out tempo, just race them. I don't see what we bring in here. I don't really give a shit about wiping their board and getting rid of their dudes. Like, uh, yeah, they're flyers, but I just need to I just need to Emrakul pretty fast, or I need to Grizzlebrand and just draw a bunch of cards and just out just outplay them. Ilhar's got Trample, too, so it's pretty good. Uh, Collective Brutality is okay in this in this matchup. But I think we'd probably rather have something different. I think we'd rather have the Lightning Axis for the Titties. Because they, be, they should be bringing Titties in. So I think that could matter. So I think let's let's take the brutalities out for the lightning axes. So we still got that discard, but we we'll want to smack their titties for five and kill that thing. I mean that's what the lightning axes are there for. This isn't bad. It's kind of slow. I think I like it though. I think I like it. We don't want to mull again to uh, mull ourselves into an oblivion. So let's keep it.
keep this suboptimal hand. I don't know you guys so my I think my new thought is like with Karn being in this format I think Pentide Prism is just really bad with there's just so many Karns titties there's those titties it's a nice it's a nice titty though okay so it seems pretty good through the breach and ever cool I, I think that's pretty cool down for that. Four gut shots in response? No? No four gut shots? You don't got it? Okay. I guess we're going to move to combat. We're going to move to blocker step. Bye, Emmercool. I'll see you later, buddy. You know what we're doing, though. I don't know if we cast a Simeon Spirit Guide. I really need to think hard, long and hard about that. Okay, now we cast the Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, survive, buddy. You have to survive. You've got to kill them. You've got to kill them. You can do this. No, 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 no red source, no red source. No lightning bolt here. No! Oh, it's a blue. All right, cool. Yeah, dig. You dig. Oh, baby. Gonna get that Simeon Spirit Guide beats. I hope you're happy. Z-Wolf! The eight beat tower, you just, you came in the right time. It's so beautiful. We gonna get him, Z Wolf. Oh, <laughs> oh, combat. We're gonna sandbag the other two Simeon Spirit Guides. They can't, they can't beat Triple Spirit Guide. Oh man, this is this is fun magic. Holy shit. You better have all the lightning bolts in the world, mother trucker. Because I'm coming at you. You can't kill the third one if you have to use the fiery islet also. Don't forget that. <laughs> you have to use the steam vents. Dig, baby, dig. Ooh, nice. Titties? I feel it. I feel some titties coming. <laughs> Faithless looting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You're dead. Oh, there was arc lights in there. Oh no! You guys, I didn't see the arc lights go in there. They must have been down here. Oh no! The Simeon Spirit Guide, the Arclight Phoenix Showdown. It's on. Damn it, I have to play Magic now. The second Simeon Spirit Guide's not going to get me there, because then they'll just block. So we need to Faithless Loot. Yourself, 
there's the through the breach. Okay, so we need to get rid of the Faithless Looting and the Simeon Spirit Guide and play the Pentide Prism and then through the Breach next turn. Excellent. It's like I know what I'm doing or something. I'm getting better. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm getting better. So. Hmm, do we, do we want to attack here? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's get in there. Let's send a message that we don't give a shit. Yeah. All right, don't kill my Pentide Prism. There's no shena shenanigans in the graveyard, is there? There is not. All right, so they have access to one mana right now because that Islet is killing them. Big Daddy Dan cast the third. Yeah. That'd be a first. Thanks, Icy. Thanks. Boys and girls, we got there against the old Phoenix. Again, I think we're just racing them. I don't think we bring in the ley lines. I don't think we really give a shit about their graveyard. I think we just gotta go fast. Ricky Bobby style, y'all. Let's run it back. I'm not angry about this. Are you guys angry about this? I'm not. That's a sweet little sneaker. So we need to top deck. In order to go real fast, we need to hit a Simeon Spirit Guide. Too. Do we just thought seize ourselves here? We get the same effect if we faithless loot, we just get to draw more cards. Thought seizing them's pretty good too. It's a lot of lines here. I think we just faithless loot though. This is tough stuff. Thinking about counter spells and backup Gorio's Vengeance and Thought Seizing and how much land you need to have. Holy shit. I need to crack another beer with all this thought. You want to master cruelties? <laughs> oh shit, you're silly. This isn't legacy. You guys, you know what? Let's play. Let's play a little bit safe. How about we do that? All right, let's not get blown out here. 
Let's slot seize them. Because I don't know what's in their sideboard. Okay, we, we didn't have to play safe. Uh, but we can get rid of the Lightning Bolt at least, right? I really like having Thoughtseize in the deck. It makes me feel a little bit, a bit better because I'm not that great with this deck yet. So it allows me to fight through things that, you know, I may not um, know about coming out of the sideboard and whatnot. So we know that they've got Double Op, Thought Scour, and Manamorphos. You like Jank wins? trip in y'all trying to find maybe a ravenous trap I don't know maybe they got rav trap in there maybe we were wrong for not playing the uh, maybe we were wrong for not playing the uh, grizzle brand last turn just running it out there hitting them sculpting our hand They drew a lot of fucking cards this turn, I'll tell you that. They drew four... Six... I think six cards? That's pretty good, balls. Hey, Arclight Phoenix. Welcome to the party. See if that Rav Trap's in hand. Waiting. Surgical. Oh, gross. The surgical. Ooh, baby, that is painful. We might lose this one. We might lose that one. Yep, we fucked up. We should have just we should have just ran out the turn three Gorio's Vengeance instead of Thought Caesar. God damn, I'm learning a lot though. This is good. Playing a graveyard deck is rough right now. But that's what through the breach is for. Just gotta have the mana for it. Generator servant's pretty good too. Didn't hit a pig. That's all right. We got a we got a old game to lose here. Oh no, we don't. We don't have a game to lose. This is game three. Yeah, we in rough shape. We might lose this round too. There's them titties. Rough turn of events, y'all. <laughs> yeah, talk about collecting salt, Z Wolf. A lot of salt. Wow. Thought sees off the top ropes, huh? Hmm. Faithless suiting, get us back in this game. That would fucking happen. I would draw an Emrakul and not be able to pitch it with Gorio's Vengeance in hand. 
Oh, wow. So we gotta get rid of th both through the breaches and we gotta keep Thoughtseize. We gotta be able to Thoughtseize ourselves, draw another land or a Spirit Guide in order to Thoughtseize ourselves into Emrakul and Goryeo's Vengeance. So, buy through the breaches. One land short. You know, we our first Faithless Looting, we pitched a land. We sure did. So we would have three lands. So that Thought Seize cost us big time. If we would have pitched that thing, we'd be in great shape right now. I think Thought Seize needs to come out of this main board. I don't really think it has a place in here. I think we just need to combo harder. We just need to go faster. Flip them titties. Let me see them. Whirl them. Whirl them around. Kill me. Where's that lightning bolt at? You got it? You got the lightning bolt? You don't. That's it. I'll be damned. Well, we needed a land there. We'd have been fine. We just needed a land. And we could have thought seized Emrakul, Goryeo's Vengeance. Rough stuff. Well, we would have thought seized Ilharg, so we could have played both of them. Wow. That is really crazy. Really, really crazy. All right, let's get this last one in. <laughs> we fucking 04. Can we bring it back? Can we get a can we get a W? We got to get a W. We got to run into a W, right? We go 05 with this thing. Mr. Piggy Pants can't let us down that hard, Kenny. Mono Blue Panza. Z Wolf, you you not wrong. Here's some jank. Oh, I see you got, what do you got for us here? Some jank uh, you could prep for next week. What is this? Boomerang? Consigned to dream? Regress, stop, I see, stop the madness. I am not playing fucking, <laughs> I am not playing bounce. Model Blue Bounce. With Delver of Secrets, too? Cause, yeah, because there's 24 instants in here. So you can just flip your Delver. Holy shit, make this stop. Where do, how do I X out of this? Oh, baby, that was fucking awful. You're going to make my fucking viewers want to hurt themselves, man. Nobody wants to see that shit. Keep, hey, what you do in your own time, you know, you keep that, you keep that to yourself. All right, we won the die roll. Mono Blue Bounce. Bounce permanence. This looks amazing. Let's keep this. Come on, Faithless Looting. Get us there, like usual. <laughs> he also says the salt. The salt. I love that they have a salt emoji now. When did they get that? That's so sweet. I love that. That is super funny. All right, deck. We can do this together. We can't let everybody down. We can't 05 this train. That'll just be so fucking hurtful. It's not going to hurt my Friday, though, because I'm going to go to a wedding and have a great time and dance my titties off. I'm going to figure this deck out, though. I'm going to figure out what to pitch with Faithless Looting. And maybe Thought Seize goes... I think Thought Seize might leave. All right, so we got lands. We need lands. So we want Pentide Prism just in case we hit... Because we can go turn two Pentai Prism. 
So I think we just pitch... Yeah, we'll have access to Pentai Prism, so we'll have our lands. So we can pitch lands here. We keep this other Black Cleave Clips. I think we need Cathartic Reunion. Actually, we can pitch... I think we keep... We pitch Thought Season and a land. Because we have Cathartic Reunion as a discard outlet. We don't need Thought Seize. All right, let's six it. All right, so next turn we're gonna go Pentide Prism. Then hopefully we draw some spicy meatballs and we could go Grizz Dad. Could do a turn three Grizzle Daddy. Everybody likes to see that. No, Marsh Flats, oh God. Oh God, that's Path to Exile, mana. I haven't seen a path to exit. Oh, oh, Mardu? All right, this is officially the weirdest fucking league I've ever played. Ooh, you're taking Pentide? You're taking Pentide Prison? If you're smart? I don't know, Cathartic Green is pretty good too. Both are pretty good. Because I got Faithless Looting in the yard. I don't know. This is not a great Inquisition. Mardu. Wow. This is fucking craziness. Four deck. Red, green. Sweet. Red, green? Hell yeah. So they took Reunion. I like that. That's a, that's a good play, too. So we're going to flash back the Faithless Looting. It's cool that we got some land here to pitch, but I'm not sure if we're going to want to pitch everything because we can hit it through the Breach. Just getting worked over. Top deck of Gorio's Vengeance. Just do it. Just top deck it. Or we'll have enough mana to actually. We'll, we can Faithless Loot. One, two, three. Play. So we'll have three. We can Faithless Loot. We can Faithless Loot into Gorio's Vengeance next turn. God, this deck is so fucking gross. God, I gotta get better with this deck. I love this thing, man. I'm going to keep playing this thing. Generator Servant. Are we going to have to hard cast Grizzlebrand? Are you fucking serious? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need three. We need another. Let's see. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got to get rid of both of our lands, too, in order to cast him. Wow, that fucking sucks balls. Pass the turn. Hopefully we top deck a land. We can cast Grizzlebrand two turns from now. With Generator Servant and give him haste. Hopefully they don't have the path. I don't know, this is weird. Yeah, uh, Z-Wolf you said might be black, uh, red, black pyro. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's Mardu Pyromancer my, is my guess. Like, I... All decks seem viable right now, as long as you're hitting your ley lines out of the sideboard, right? Against the old boogeyman. Yeah. There's... You didn't see the white. There's, a, there's the planes, the hard planes. All right, so... Pyromancer maybe here? Oh, yeah. Seasoned Pyromancer. 
Uh, Season Pyromancer enters the battlefield. Uh, discard two cards and draw two cards for each non-land card discarded this way. Krita. They discarded Pyromancer and... Oh, the Smiting Helix? Oh, 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 shit. Welcome to the fucking party, Gorio's Vengeance. God fucking... Welcome. It's really nice to see you. Shit. Hmm. All right. So, Generator Servant, we're going to save you for another time, buddy. Grizzlebrand's going to go on and get in them cheeks. Come on, Grizzlebrand. You can do this, buddy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got access to three mana. So we just really need to pitch. What do we pitch here? Um, pitch a generator servant. Let's see, we got we got brutality. We don't have another. Might want to draw seven more. We don't have another, but we have the Thought Seize and the Collector Brutality. We just gotta, we just don't have the Gorio's Vengeance. We got that through the Breach, so we got, we'll have five mana for next turn. But we only have one through the Breach, so if they Thought Seize us, that's gonna be bad. I guess we could just Thought Seize them, but if they top deck it, we're, we saw the Pig too. So I think the weakest card here is just Cathartic Reunion. All right, so I like this hand. I think we keep this. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to hit another seven, to be honest. Sometimes there is times where you're just like, okay, fuck, I whiffed. I need another seven, but I don't think this is a. Is, this is the time. So we can just get rid of a generator servant here, or the cathartic, either one. Oh, okay, we had seven. Or sorry, we had nine. Got it. Everybody's coming at me. It's a party. It's a party in my mouth and everybody's invited. All right, through the breach, old, uh... Nah, I think we just play Mr... Yeah, we have to, right? We we have to through the breach here. They're at five, so they have to they'll double block. Hmm, they'll go to one. And then Mr. Pig Pants will go to we'll go three three down. God, what's a better out here? Do we just through the breach the pig and then put Grizzlebrand into play? I think that's all we do here. And then we have Collective Brutality to kill them next turn. I 
love that he has trample, man. So good. Okay, so they just scoop. They're like, fuck it. Let's go to board. All right, so they're going to board. So we know that they have black in their deck. They can they can hard cast, so they're going to have the ley line. So I feel like we need to, we definitely need to bring the Quicksilver Amulets in here. Um, I like Anger coming in here because that can just, you know, swing the game in our direction. Um, so we're going to bring in three, four, five cards. Uh, we can take out the Gorios Vengeance. I think we still, actually, I think we still want to keep a couple in. So we can get rid of the Thoughtseize for the most part, right? I think we get, I think the, the Collective Brutality is pretty solid here. So I think we just want to get rid of the Thoughtseize. I think we want to keep a couple Gorios Vengeance in just in case they don't hit their, um, uh, their Graveyard Hate. So I think we'll do it that way. We'll take the Thought Seizes out and two Goreos and then bring that in. Uh, I don't expect them to play Ensnaring Bridge out of the side. I don't think that's really a thing in that deck. I don't think it's ever been. So I don't think we really need to worry about the shenanigans. We may see some mulling here from them. This is a pretty bad hand. It's a pretty bad hand. We're gonna mulligan this. I like this hand. I think we'll keep this. Mulling to five. Are they gonna mull to five? Let's see. Yep, they mulled to five. Hey, they kept it. Let's see that ley line. No. Hell yeah, we're keeping that on top. All right. Thought season Inquisition, your way to victory here. It's going to be a slugfest. Lingering Souls and Pyromancer in the in the graveyard. Got it. Brutality. Brutality. I'm fine with that. What you escalating on? Target opponent reveals her hand. She's an instant sorcery. Okay, you got the through the breach. You didn't get the amulet though. You better come and get the amulet. Cause we gonna get there. <laughs> Quicksilver amulet. Fuck man, that card is so good. So good. Let's hope they don't have a thought seize. Gets around the brutality clause. And the Inquisition Acosolic clause. Because it is not three CMC or less. Get this, I can't get this thing out of my hand fast enough. Holy shit. Cool, so we can activate it next turn with our Simeon Spirit Guide. Yeah, baby. No Culligan's Command. No K Command. Don't end a turn K Command us. Please. Oh, no. 
unearth. Whoa, cool. Return target creature. Converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I like that. Get that young peasy back in there, baby. God, I love the new uh, the new cards that they printed, man. There are some really mm. fucking cool cards. Fuck, they had the Inquisition! No! <laughs> you guys! You guys! We need to top deck a land! We gotta top deck a land, baby. I don't know why they didn't... Unless they have, like, K-Command, I don't know why they didn't, like... On Ur... Oh, they can't, they can't, they can't, they can't. It just has cycle. I thought I had flashback. It's just cycle. That's a start. <laughs> I hope they don't fucking bolt it. Oh man, we're trying our hardest to get to four land here so we can activate this goddamn thing. Sadness entering the stack, I think. Man, maybe they didn't know exactly what this thing did, because, I mean, it's not a super played card. It's a niche card that gets played in just one deck, and that is this deck, which is a fringy deck. Yep, yeah, there you go. I'm sacking a creature. He's doing everything. They're doing everything they can to stop me from in that fourth mana. Oh, flashback lingering souls. Come on, baby. We can get there. Okay. So we know who's coming into play and, and attacking. That's old Grizzle Dad. We gotta get there, though. We have got to get there, you guys. We can do it, though. Shit, this is intense. It's game two. We got a game to lose, but... I do see the power of Quicksilver Amulet, so I really do like it. Flashback Faithless Looting, huh? The Helix goes in the graveyard. There's more tokens. <laughs> oh, Black Cleave Cliffs. You are fucking hilarious. Come on, Moto. Don't do me this dirty. You can do better than this. Yeah, I'm just I don't even I don't even want to put Emrakul in here. I just want to draw a bunch of cards with uh with Grizzlebrand. Grizzle dad 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 dad. Five creatures. Ooh. Ballsy. I may my, make my decision a little different then, huh? Eh, no, because then they just, they sacrifice this. Hmm. 
Yeah, we gotta gain some life. Grizzlebrand's coming in. It's not gonna matter. <laughs> Stop pump faking uh, goddamn spirit tokens. You're getting me over here. If we draw a land, do we throw the Breach Grizzlebrand here? Nah, we can't. We just gotta put them into play. We don't have a choice, y'all. We're gonna die. Alright. Let's see if Grizzlebrand lives. If he dies, we're in trouble. Not a lily. Don't play a lily of the veil. Don't do it. Yikes. Yikes. Can't even draw seven there because then we just die. Woof. Looks like we might be out of this game, you guys. Dreadboard off the top ropes for the W. We're definitely out of this game. Forgot about the flashback on that thing. Leyline of the Void would have helped there, right? And let's see. So I like this the way it is. To be honest, I like amulets in there. Uh, being on the play, though, I, I still think we're going to have to fight against ley line, so I don't really see uh, Gorios being as viable as, as a Quicksilver in the Through the Breaches, so we just got to run with this. We don't have a choice. Run it back. This is interesting as shit. Five land, Faithless Looting? I'm keeping this with a Quicksilver. I'm keeping the shit out of this hand. We got lands to pitch to looting. And if not, hey. If they don't go if they don't open up with uh uh Leyline, maybe we hit a maybe we hit a creature and a Gorio's Vengeance. The important thing is that we can hit our Quicksilver. We just hope that it doesn't get K-commanded or ripped out of our hand by a Thought Seize. They're staying at seven. I really like this generator servant in here, man. It is very, I just under underestimated that thing. Why are they moving to discard? Oh, they were waiting on me, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Turn one, Inquisition? Yep, bye Generator Servant. You were good. Damn. Uh, 
We battling. Got to draw some creatures. It's the crazy part about this deck. We're going to uh, flashback Faithless Looting, though, next turn. Hopefully. They take a lot of damage. A lot of damage in that deck. That mana base is rough. You just you have to. You don't have a choice. Seasoned and lingering. You got it. That's pretty cool. Hit that unearth. Very cool. Discard the helix and lightning bolt. I like it. A lot of good synergy there. That new season pyromancer is really fucking cool. Alright, Faithless Looting, do us good, please. <sighs> you didn't do us good. We racing now. I wonder, do we get this? Do we Faithless Loot? Or do we get this Quicksilver Amulet out of our hand as fast as we can before it gets Thought Seized? They still got K-Command. There's the answer to that, right? Bye, Thought Seized. More tough ones, huh? So I won't have through the breach mana now. I like Quicksilver Amulet, but man, is it slow. A lot of bodies hitting the hitting the board. Taking a lot of damage. Could really use a grizzle brand. That doesn't get killed. Fuck. Yeah, that was a beautiful top deck. I think we just lose here. Yeah, we just lose here. Trigger, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the helix in the graveyard. 
nine. So we live for one turn. Probably not. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, basically, I think I think even we misplayed there because like we needed to go Pentide Prism, be able to top deck. Yeah, so cast a Helix. Yes, yeah, so we're dead. Lead complete. Wow, we went 05, y'all. Um, let's see, Mardu. Mardu Pyromancer. Wow. I don't think we made any mistakes there. They just... Getting that Emrakul was... Like, drawing that Thoughtseize was very timely. So, hey. That shit happens. Um, but I, I think some of the changes that I'm going to make are, are basically probably going to be... I love the Quicksilver Amulet. I like the Generator mm -hmm. Servant. Uh, I, I just think... I think the Thoughtseize might need to come out of the main. And maybe another Generator Servant needs to go in. Um, but... Graveyard Hate didn't really even bother us today, to be honest. Um, we just need to find a way to get this Quicksilver Amulet active faster, and I think Generator Servant is going to do that for mm -hmm. us. Um, and, you know, uh, we made a misplay the one uh, the one round against uh, Taking Turns, um, and we almost beat Amulet Titan, so it wasn't a bad league, to be to be honest, overall. Uh, but I like this. I like the sideboard. I think I just need to get more reps with this, and I think uh, I, I think we won't we won't take as many L's to the face. I think this deck's really strong, very powerful, and uh, you guys should give it a try. To be honest, uh, if you guys like it, I know Z Z Wolf said that he's uh, he's got a red green version, so um, that should that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the stream with always letting you guys know. Check out uh, momsbasementgames.tcgplayerpro.com. Uh, if you guys need singles, find us there. Also, don't forget about our giveaway. Uh, that is on uh, July 1st. We're giving away a Sliver Queen. So all you got to do is follow us. That's all you got to do. Just uh, give us a follow on, uh, on Twitch here. Uh, if you guys are um, subscribed to us, you get another entry into uh, win the giveaway. And if you're part of our Patreon, you'll get a, a third um, entry into win. Um, and uh, we always send out notifications on uh, Twitter uh, to let you guys know that we're going live. Uh, again, here's start, the Starting Soon page. Uh, we're on seven days a week here, uh, so you guys can catch content all week. Uh, so please find us um, at uh, also at our YouTube channel. You guys can go back and, and take a look at uh, some of our videos are doing pretty good, so we're pretty proud of that. Our YouTube channel is starting to pick up, so go ahead and subscribe there too. Um, so we went 05 today, but hey, uh, thank you guys for watching. I scrubbed it up. I'm usually the 2-3 king. Actually, I've been the three-two king lately, but uh, you know, I was the two-three king for most most of my uh, most of my time playing online. But today we had a rough one, so I'm gonna scrape the salt up, num 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 num, and come back next week for you guys. So I will see you guys next Friday. I usually am on 1:30, so uh, check me out. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday. And for those of you um, that are still watching, uh, I'm gonna send you over to uh, somebody that's playing modern. I think modern, right? Um, let's go to Twitch here. I always like to uh, send you guys over to um, raid somebody. You know, that's that's always good to, to raid somebody and let people know, like, hey, we're watching you, um, and we support you. So I always try to support. I try to find somebody that's you know doesn't have a whole lot of viewers. Uh, you know, because everybody knows, like, hey, I can just pop in here, but. We want to help those little guys out. You know, we're still we're still a little guy, um, and so we want to kind of give these guys some support. So, what do you think here? Uh, Modern Blue Moon Trophy Hunting. Oh, I like that with 38 viewers. I'm down for that. You guys down for that? Let's check that out. Ooh, there's some people playing old school, Domestifying Amulet Titan. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's try this right here. Uh, Let's try Amulet Titan. That's pretty cool. That looks good. All right, so who is this? 
Um, FP, so let's rate them up. Let's give them some support. You guys can go on here, see if you guys like them. They might be good, you never know. Um, let's see, F, F, P, A, W, L, U, S, Z. Raid now, let's do it. Hey, we're incoming. We are incoming, you guys. All right, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you. This is a, a list with recipes, okay? This is a card list with um, which plays rest in peace in the sideboard. This, this card being here is solely because of Hogak. The Hogak matchup for Amulet is not very good. Um, so rest in peace is my attempt to try to help that matchup a little bit. Um, of course, we have Turbo Script, uh, we have Karn, uh, and this is more of an evolved, evolved uh, Mom's Basement Streams. Uh, thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. Um, so this is one of the... This is after, you know, months of developing the Karn list, right? So we are down to three Karns, we're not up to four, because the meta became, like, slightly hostile towards Karn. Uh, with all those aggro decks, and if you look at my uh, sideboard guide, uh, which is uh, for subscribers, by the way, just want to point that out. Um, if, if you look at the sideboard guide that I wrote, uh, that I published on Monday, you will see that there's plenty of matchups where Karn gets sideboarded out. Uh, and that that, uh, that is fine. You know, Karn has, again, has its uh, his pros and cons, and it has some matchups where it's incredible, and some matchups where it's not very good. Um, so uh, you know it's it's possible to side to side it out. In fact, that is one that is one thing that it's that it's relevant. Um, oh, thank you for the follow uh, and yeah, <laughs> uh, I appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. And yeah, it, it's a sweet deck. It's a sweet deck. So the ballista came back to the to the main deck because of humans. Um,